the long hours without stimulation are creating some very strange experiences. Oh God, I'm hallucinating now. Tim, I'm hallucinating because I can see a pile of, of uh, oyster shells, like 5,000 oyster shells in a pile. Oh God, empty shells to represent all the food, nice food I could have eaten while I've been inside here. I'm just go and touch it. gone. It's starting to appear now. I'll come back to it. I hope someone can hear me. I'm hallucinating. There's a snake there, <clears throat> which is just going along. You'll just see moving shapes, lights, saw some little tiny cars, uh, zebras. Uh, it was quite nice. The only things that were a bit scary were things that kind of tricked you that they were real. Like that there was somebody in the room or something like that. It was a bit scary. That's a bit weird. Whatever you're doing, that's a bit weird and scary. It was weird. I started to uh, started imagining things and uh, thought, I thought the room was taken off at one time as well. There's a, a load of fighter planes buzzing around and that. There's a swarm of mosquitoes. In the dark room, people would be hallucinating because there's absolutely nothing to focus attention on. Now, in the absence of information, the human brain carries on working and processing information, even if there's no information to process. And after a while, it starts to create that information itself. Held in the dark for months, Brian Keenan experienced the most terrible hallucinations. I can remember one distinctly. Because it was dreadfully lucid and clear, it was about being alone and in a desert and being very, very hot and then being instantly bone-numbingly cold, uh, having the, the winds of the desert stripping away as if you could feel your flesh falling off you. Uh, and so you were left as a bony hulk shivering in the corner. But they were not just visual hallucinations from which he was suffering. I heard music, and it seemed to be coming into the cell. But I knew it wasn't, but I heard it. And it was all sorts of instruments being played. I, I heard bagpipes. I heard African drums. I heard zithers, flamenco guitars. And it was really interesting. And then, when it wouldn't go away after a few minutes, it got really frightening. And when I was frightened by it, the, 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 the tempo of it lifted and the volume of it lifted. And there was more instruments and cellos were playing and orchestras and pianos and everything was happening louder and louder and louder. And then I got really afraid and that's when I kind of started banging my head against the wall just to make this go away. To, it's a way you would try and engage your mind forcefully in something else, to, to, but it wouldn't go away. Uh, and the intoxication of it was, was not comforting. And it went on for a very, very long time until I was really frightened of it. More frightened of what the music in my head than the man without gun outside myself. 